it's not good evening. It all depends on where you're watching this from. Okay, so we are going to be looking at how to model an air cooler using Aspen Isis. And in our case study, we are going to be um, using an air cooler in Aspen Isis to um, reduce the temperature of a gas fish stream from 38 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. So basically, that's what we're going to be doing. Sorry about the noise in the background. Just um, um, try as much as possible to just um, avoid it completely. Don't, don't look at it as anything. Okay, focus on the tutorials, right? There are some persons um, having some discussions at the background. Okay, so we'll go straight to the uh, simulation environment. Go to the simulation environment, okay? So, um, like you rightly know, the first thing to do when you're with your Aspen High Season software, if you have a project or a model to do, is to go over to your properties manager here to add your component list and um, also your food package, which we have done in previous tutorials. So, for this, um, we're using retain, retain, and propane. And, um, for the food package you're using probably seen and you already know that if you have not um, if you don't understand the reason I will advise you to go back to my previous uh, videos <coughs> my previous videos on um, um, how to select or how to add a component list and um, how to select the appropriate food package for your simulation all right the videos are all on my timeline all right so now we go straight to the environment since we've added the components so we're going to define our material stream we've also learned how to do that in the past so so for now we have um, composition uh, methane methane 0.7 sorry about this so we have methane to be 0 0.7 and uh, we have ethane to be 0 0.25 uh, we have propane to be 0 0.0 five yeah so all right so the condition we said we are cool we want to um, cool the feed stream so the feed stream originally was at 38 degrees Celsius so we need to the pressure of you say two bar sorry the pressure of two bar and um flow rates say two hundred kilogram per hour okay so this is our feed stream and um we want to cool this so what we need to do is to get our air cooler which is this so this is our air cooler double click and um so the first thing we need to after defining your material stream when you open the um when you get the air cooler from from the object pellets double click on it as usual we will be modeling the previous um, unit operation so the next thing we need to do is impute your feed stream so you see process stream inlet which is our feed so our stream outlet will be cooled gas or whatever nomenclature you want to assign to it so right now we have unknown delta p so if you go to parameters our delta p so we are just assume we have a delta p of zero uh, okay okay now there's something I want to show you. Uh, the configuration you can choose the configuration you want one tube row, one pass, or we have different configuration depending on your design. So you can just select any of the configuration. But for this, we're using one tube row and then one pass. Um, again, you can see the air intake. All right, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, the pressure is 1.013 bar, that's about one atmosphere. So the temperature of the air intake will be dependent on where you are, okay, that's the ambient temperature around the vicinity where you're carrying out this operation in reality, okay, so we're using um, an air inlet temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, okay, so the next thing we need to do is um, we'll come over to our worksheets. You already know the outlet temperature, right? Which is 27. So we are cooling it down to 27 degrees Celsius. As you can see, it's soft. But there's another thing I would like to show you. We'll go back to design under parameters. You discover what happened now. The temperature of the air increased from 25.00 to 25.22 degrees Celsius. So air increased in temperature. 
um, by 0 0.22 degrees Celsius okay to be able to reduce the temperature of our gas stream from 38 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius now uh, I would like to show you the rate okay let's go to rating under the size and the rating so you can choose the number of fans that your air cooler will have all right the higher the number of fans the um, lower the temperature the exit temperature of air so we're going to look at it again so if you come back here you discover that our air outlet temperature is 25.22 right so if i add an extra an extra fan say i, I increase this to two fans so if we come back here you will discover that this actually dropped from 25.22 to 25.11 so the higher the um, number of fans the lower the exit temperature of the air all right so if you want to get your data sheets so you can come over to performance so you get the fluid duty which is this you get the correction factor the uv the lmtd uh, the air outlet um, temperature also you get the total total volume of air flow rate in meter cube per hour and also you get that of mass air flow rate in kilogram per hour so basically this how to um, carry out a steady state simulation of uh, an air cooler with Aspen high so it's, it's this simple yeah it's, it's quite simple and one thing you should also understand is that since the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius the feed temperature has to be higher than 25 yes so that you can so that there will be um, there will be temperature cross yeah there will be effective um, exchange of heat between the two um, fluid that the air and the inlet the process um, stream inlet okay so those are the things you also have to consider the feed temperature okay this is 38 yeah so you can't call you can't use um let's say five degrees Celsius here because when your air inlet temperature is 25 degrees Celsius this is actually higher than five so you definitely have a temperature cross issue all right so these are basically things you should also put into consideration more than your um, air cooler with aspen prices. I hope you learned something from this. Like I always say, you just have to keep practicing. Okay, so you take up this, rewatch it, uh, put it into practice, and with time you get perfect with all of this. Okay, so thank you for your time. While I work on the next video. And do it to subscribe, um, invite your friends, tell your friends about this channel, your, your classmates in, in your various schools, your colleagues in your offices. And, okay, there are a lot of content down here, a lot of value down in this channel. So you, you need to invite your friends to be part of it. Thank you for always coming back to watch, the, watch my, uh, my videos. And um, without you, this channel will not be existing so i want to really appreciate you for your time your okay your consistency yeah coming back to the channel to look after new videos i really appreciate see you next time